In this video tutorial, we show further examples on how to build queries in the Query Tool with Atlas TI 9 Mac. All examples shown here are based on the Children and Happiness sample project. You'll find the link to the project in the comment field below. The aim of the first query that we're going to show is to find all comments written by people who have one child and who express that they are ambivalent about parenthood, which contain statements where they express that children make them happier. Let's begin with the first part, the AND query. Select the operator and then the two codes of interest. Atlas TI retrieves nine quotations where both of these codes have been applied. Now let's add part two of the query, which means including only those comments where the code children increase happiness occurs. The query results in four quotations. If you want to look at the results in context, pin the query tool window so it stays on top of the screen. Here you see that the conditions that we've been searching for apply. The query can easily be changed, for example, by examining the results for respondents with two children. To start a new query, change the first entry to undefined empty. For our next query, we would like to find all comments written by people who have expressed that children make them happy, which are not coded with the code parenthood ambivalence. We start by retrieving all comments written by people who express that having children have made them happier. In order to select the appropriate operator, you need to know how the data is coded. Here we need the enclosing operator. Atlas TI found 21 quotations. Next, we need to exclude all quotations that are coded with parenthood ambivalence. To do so, we need to add a new line to our query by clicking on the plus button. Next, we select the not operator and the code parenthood ambivalence. The final query results in 11 quotations. The next step is to read the quotations to make further sense of this result and write it up in a memo. You can learn about writing memos for analysis in our next video tutorial. You'll also find a link in the comment field.